An investigation has been launched into disturbing allegations that ER staff at hospitals in B.C. have been playing a game called The Price is Right, where they guess the blood alcohol level of mainly Indigenous patients. The province's health care minister is just as outraged as health advocates. Global B.C.'s Richard Zussman is following this story tonight. Richard, do we know where this game was being played and how widespread it is? Those are some of the big questions, Robin, and we still don't know the answers. Health Minister Adrian Dix was informed of these allegations last night, and he moved quickly to try to get answers. An investigation has now been launched. It will be led by Mary Ellen Turpel lafont the former representative of children and youth here in British Columbia and a very well-known member of the Indigenous community. But this is much larger. There are still questions around how often did this happen, did it happen in multiple facilities? Does it involve ER doctors and nurses and other staff? And exactly where in British Columbia all of this has unfolded? Indigenous communities in British Columbia have raised concerns in the past around systemic racism in the health care system. That has been representative in a few reports. And the government now is moving towards action to figure out some of these issues. I was made aware of serious allegations of racist and abhorrent practices in an emergency room or emergency rooms in British Columbia. If confirmed, the conduct is beyond unacceptable. Hopefully there will be some change and not just more words when it comes to reducing racism within our healthcare system. When you bring it down to the front line, it means that, that, that Métis people, uh, other Indigenous peoples across the province are not getting the healthcare that they deserve. They're not getting the kind of healthcare they need. Premier John Horgan sending out a statement on this, calling the incident ugly and anti-Indigenous racism, and that uh, the investigator in all this, Mary Ellen Turpel lafont will have the full support of government. There's no timeline yet, Robin, on when this investigation will be completed, but they do have that support of government to do it. Richard Zussman in Victoria, B.C. Thanks, Richard.